Hey everybody, today we are discussing a family event called Leaf Bingo. It can be done by elementary children without an adult's involvement. However, it is a wonderful family event starting for children around three and a half or four. Recognizing that the world around us is green and is incredibly complex helps us understand and reflect on God and the gift of creation to humanity in ways that we would not otherwise be able to think about. So Leaf Bingo is done by matching the leaf shape to leaves in real life and can be done in a traditional Montessori three-part lesson. One part lesson of this is pointing and naming these various shapes of leaves and locating them in the natural world. The second period of this lesson is holding up a leaf and asking, is this one ovate or pellate? and the child would respond. And the third period would be pointing at a random leaf and asking the child to name the shape of the leaf. But for any child, just finding a leaf that matches the shape is incredible fun and leads to incredibly careful handling of nature and incredible observation within the child. So I have pulled a few leaves from around my garden. I'm looking at three leaves that are really, if I take away the one, and it matters where it attaches, I cannot do it this way and come up with a deltoid. It is this way and is an obcordate leaf. This one is a Renea form. This one is a Peltate and it is to represent a warrior's shield that would have been held in the middle. Then we have another form of clover that it's much easier to see that this one this is a white clover, is abcordate. Here are some green beans, and I notice very much the deltoid shape. It really depends on your species of green bean if you are hunting through your vegetable garden for that one. Here is another kind of reneiform. And this comes from the idea that this looks like a kidney and if you think of renal failure or things like that, you can get the Latin easily for that. This one is an azalea. And I notice that it's not getting wider at the bottom or at the top. We have this guy. And often when you have an irregular edge like this, you use your imagination and you draw the line all the way around and you could say that it was orb circular. Here is one that five-year-olds love deeply. This is a lanceolate leaf. Another one that is an elliptical this time. A piece of one of my collard greens and I love this one. This one is spatulate. And spatulate just means that the green leafy part extends way down below where you think it is necessary to have it. And my last one is this one, which is orbicircular. It's a hydrangea. So looking around and recognizing the levels of complexity that we have in the plants around us is a good way to help build careful observation, careful hands, and really thoughtful behavior 
towards the natural world around us. And because very few people understand leaf shape or botany, it gives the child a really strong sense of accomplishment. If you want to look for something to do beyond that, especially for your elementary age students, here is the process that we went through with a class that I just got done teaching and we painted the backs of a leaf and then we carefully pressed from one spot and worked our way around the leaf to create a pattern of the leaf and its venation and then we wrote down the name of the leaf and the leaf's shape. Another thing that you can do is you can take contact paper and lay down one side and place the leaf on that. Take another piece and carefully lay it down and sandwich the leaf in between and work any air bubbles out. These are beautiful if they're hung in windows. Here's a picture of one of the students' project. If you are interested in botany at all, I highly recommend this book, Botany in a Day. It discusses things like leaf shape, but places it in conjunction with common American varieties of plants. So since we have a chance to get out and be wonderfully embraced by the green of nature right now, I invite you to invite your children to play leaf bingo and find all of the beautiful leaf shapes. The file that has the leaf shapes in it will be uploaded on the blog. So please like, subscribe, come back, watch more videos, find out some more tips about botany and enjoy the rest of the spring and the wonderful walks in nature that you can have. Thanks. And bye-bye.